Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment and welcome to our YouTube channel and more importantly looking at this machine by Itzo Cafe in Rome, Italy. Uh, they were in Naples, they have moved right outside of Rome now uh, in 2019 and in front of us we basically have the Valexia PID heat exchange machine. And with this machine, which is very well built, and as I mentioned in one of our other videos with them, uh, they've kind of been pestering us for a year. And we don't just bring on anybody here at First Line or any type or any brand of equipment. We wanna make sure that we're bringing you the quality that we expect. Uh, so you won't find everything on our website, so, or within our showroom or in facilities here. Uh, just to go over, uh, we have some nice wooden knobs, rotating knobs, non-compression valves. We have an E61 group head with a mushroom uh, made of stainless on the top here. Uh, one signature thing uh, that's known about Itso is their deep drip trays. Give that tough, mean look, uh, which it does. We have the two-cup portafilter uh, with the walnut wood handle. We have the single with the single spout here, double cup basket, single cup basket, the blind basket, no holes. We have the kit for draining, so this machine is uh, plumbable into your cold water line. Uh, it's also drainable if you like, uh, and we basically have the drain hose here. We have the water line hose here. Now, this is, um, or create some contention with customers who try to plumb in European machines. These fittings are 3 8 BSPP. If you get the machine plumbed in, please check with us. We sell a system called the BWT uh, treat water treatment system that basically uh, will connect into this and they have an optional hose on the other end of the filter that connects to you cold water line. So please remember cold water line. Also, uh, basically pump uh, water line pressure will be between 35 and 40 PSI. If it's too low, the pump will be trying to grab the water in and make funny sounds. If it's too high, it will make different types of sounds. So you wanna range between 35 and 40 PSI, uh, and also not a 1 8 or a 1 quarter inch hose, but if you can get 3 8 coming in, it'll be fantastic. Also included with the machine, an instruction manual. Uh, just a little note, a lot of instruction manuals from the Italian, Spanish, German manufacturers are not always the best. They don't give you every detail. This is a multi-language manual. Look how thin this is. So uh, one of the reasons for the video is to try to help you and get you acclimated with uh, the machine. A cleaning brush for cleaning the group head. Also multiple steam tips. Uh, on here we have a three hole, four hole, and a five hole inside here. Two hole that's already included. And a nice little feature, cleaning cloth for your machine. This is really, really nice. Last but not least is a nice matching tamper. Uh, so here again, we have the uh, Valexia PID heat exchange machine. And stay tuned, we're gonna be going inside and taking a look. So inside the machine here, we have the water reservoir. I strongly recommend using the machine in reservoir mode for a few weeks, just to make sure there are no issues uh, that can uh, creep up from connecting to a water line. Uh, we do have a nice stainless steel horizontal boiler, which does offer a lot of steam power. Reservoir in the back here, brain unit made by quality G car is right here. Uh, down in the bottom here, we have a pump and a capacitor. And we have the safety valve here in case there's too much pressure that's created because something failed, the safety valve will open here. And we have our water pipe here uh, for the hot water valve and the steam here. Now the water pipe goes towards the bottom. Basically steam pressure on the top of the boiler pushes the water down, comes up through this pipe and goes out the hot water valve. A thing that I try to look at on a lot of heat exchange machines is the, the width and quality of the thermosiphon loop uh, that occurs to and from the group head and there's another pipe down in here. This is really important because I find some machines where manufacturers are really skimping and putting a really thin, thin tube. So I look at this because we wanna make sure that we get good water flow to and from. Sometimes you'll find a bigger one, one than this and a smaller one on the other end. 
so that's to manage the uh, overheating of an E61 group head where you hear, you hear basically people have to flush. Here is your bleeder valve right here. Here is your PID sensor uh, right here. If you ever need to remove this, please unclip from here first, remove the tie wraps. Do not bend this here because that's the first place that these things get damaged uh, is right here at this point. If you want to change the OPV, that's way down in here. Uh, there's a really big OPV screw right there, which is really nice. And we have our PID uh, display unit um, right here. Uh, so there's wires connected there and also for the PID sensor. So uh, really nicely organized. If you're wondering what this is, this is the boiler refill valve. And we have, uh, let's see here. This is something new for me. Uh, that looks just like the, one of the gauge uh, coverings on the, on the uh, capillary tube, which uh, here it's insulated. First, I've probably seen of that there. And then here we have another solenoid valve. So uh, nicely designed uh, internally, uh, quality made. And this is something we really look for uh, when we speak to the different manufacturers. Uh, so we want to make sure that you receive the quality equipment. So let's go ahead and make an espresso. So we want to make sure that we have a level amount of coffee with the two cup basket, which is my favorite basket to use and using an optional tamper holder and tamping station here. Uh, as you can see, I put my two fingers in and try to be even with the rim here and the rim here. Try to make sure that the coffee's level. Some people don't like the knocking. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter because I'm giving a good, nice hard tamp. And let's lock that in here. Make sure the portafilter's hot, the group head's hot. And let's start on the espresso. And this is kind of gro ground a little fine, so we're gonna get a slower pour. And we do have a dual gauge here, uh, which shows our uh, pump pressure, as well as our uh, boiler pressure. And we have a shot clock timer that's going here on the top on the PID and actually not too bad we're at 24 seconds getting some good mouse tails I'm gonna take this one to about 35 so nice good crema in this case uh, just the learning is the, uh, we would coarsen up the grind a little bit uh, so we can get a, a little more of an extraction out. But this may be tasting very, very good as well. Uh, but just to show you that the grinder is also important in the equation because the pour is gonna be uh, a, a less of an extraction uh, in this case. So you coarsen it up a little bit and then you'll get a, a, a decent pour as well. So for steaming, we make sure we drain out uh, some condensation that could be in the pipe. No burn steam wand. And a little boo-boo there. Getting some really good velocity here and some decent micro froth. So much for my latte art. I've been doing this 22 years and I still can't get it. If somebody could help me, it'd be greatly appreciated. Okay, to change the temperature of the steam boiler. You go hit the button down here real quick and then the button on the right side and you can change it uh, to your liking. I kind of like 255, uh, that's just my uh, liking there. And now you do hear the boiler refill because we just steamed milk. Uh, so it does refill the boiler. And uh, it's pretty simple there uh, to operate it. And uh, if you look in the manual, you can go into the deeper uh, PID programming, which we normally don't recommend to, um, to change. Now on the screen right here, 
there is some uh, white plastic film. So just make sure to remove this after everything is satisfactory with the machine, after you test it with water, make sure everything came intact. So that goes right on there on top, nice cup warmer tray uh, that we really like with the machine. Well, thank you so far for watching this video with the Valexia PID heat exchange machine uh, produced by Itzo Cafe in Rome. I'm certainly happy that you've made it through this far because sometimes these videos are a little boring, but also it gives you a nice intro to the quality that we expect here at First Line Equipment and something that you can enjoy for years to come in your home or office or small commercial environment with this machine. So thank you for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you can down below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment down below. Uh, you can also ask questions on our website on this fantastic machine. There's a Q&A tab, which is question and answer. We'll get back to you with any questions that you may have. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.